Hello guys. So in this video, we will learn how can we read our images or open our images using OpenCV. So before we move towards any of the complex part that is performing any kind of operation or filterization or any kind of pre-processing on our image, it is important that we know that how can we import or how can we open our images or videos or webcam using OpenCV. So in this particular video, we will be learning how can we read or open images using OpenCV. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in order to open our image or in order to use any of the functionality of OpenCV, it is important that you first import OpenCV. So in order to do that, you have to write import CV2. This will import your OpenCV into your program. After that, you have to use a IM read method. So what IM read method is going to do is that it will go into the location that is specified inside the parenthesis. That is here I have specified resources slash pick one so what it is going to do is that it will go into the location that is this my resources folder inside the resources folder it will pick the image that i have specified so once it will do that it will bring the contents of that image in form of an array inside the variable called img this is a custom variable that i have made a custom array variable that will contain the contents of the image after that, once the contents of the image are placed inside my IMG variable, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to display the output image. That is, I'm going to open the image on the screen. To do that, I'm going to use a method that is I am show. It will make a GUI window that is a graphical user interface window. And inside the window, my image will appear. So here I have specified two things. The first is the output and second is IMG. So what is output? Suppose this is my GUI window. So on the top of the GUI window, output will be written. That is the heading of my window. The title of my window is going to be output. And inside the window, my image is going to appear. But once I write this method that is I am show, my image will come on the screen and will go off immediately in just a split of a second. And most probably you won't be able to see that image. So in order to prevent that, we will use a separate function that is separate method that is cv2.wait key. So inside the wait key, I will pass on zero. So what will zero do is that it will make sure that once the image comes on a screen, it will stay on the screen until I close the GUI box or GUI window. So in order to close the window, I have to click on the cross button. And once I do that, my image will go off the screen. If I write one or any other number in place of zero, it will specify that for how many milliseconds my window is going to appear. For example, in place of zero, I write one. So my image will come for just one millisecond and it will go off. If I write a uh, thousand, it means that my image will come. It will stay on the screen for thousand milliseconds or I can say 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. My image will go off the screen. So this is how you can read or open your images inside OpenCV. Now let us try to learn how can we open our images in a grayscale mode that is basically black and white mode. In order to do that, I have to first import my OpenCV module and after that I have to specify a path. If you skip this part and do this just like we have done previously, it is also fine. So now I will create my IMG array image variable and inside this I will write my method imread. So this is going to read the contents of the image and inside this I will uh, pass on my path and in place of path you can also specify this string but in order to make it uh, easier for you in order to give a better interface I have specified a variable path and after that I have to pass a number that is zero. So what will zero do is that zero is basically uh, an ID zero is an ID for grayscale mode. So now once I show my image using the I am show method, my image will appear in a grayscale mode. So this is how you read or open images in OpenCV. So in the next video, we will be learning about how can we read or open our videos using OpenCV. This video was very short and it was pretty much easy to understand because we have not discussed any complex thing yet. So we will meet in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.